Come on, blinds. You, you just gotta do me like that. You just, you just gotta. We have come full circle. It's been a while since I pushed off the Q&A part 4, and there's a reason to that. Naturally, I give my Q&A videos like a lot of space of time to see if like anyone just happens to walk by and be like, Oh, hey, maybe I'm new to your channel, or maybe I'd like to know something. So, here we are. It is time to finally answer the Q&A part 4. So without further ado, let's tackle on these 64 questions. It's going to be rather difficult, but let's do this. Here are my questions. Can I hug you? How many... T oh, wait, actually... <laughs> sure, here's a hug. How many times can you say lol? Um, you mean in just the space of time in general? Well, lol, I, I'm not sure. Well, lol. Oof or lol? I don't know. It really depends because I can just say whatever I want. So I'm going to go with lol. How much do you love your fans? Now that is a that is a rather interesting one because like it's more of a thing where you have to figure out how to show it. You know what I'm saying? So I really do appreciate the fact that you guys have helped me overachieve like a lot of you guys. But I think there might be an easier way for me to actually like um show love. Who's your favorite Splatoon animator? Now, genuinely, I don't have one. I no longer have one. I used to have one, but now he's gone, unfortunately. Claude's or Marie? Now, that is a difficult one, because uh, you can go either way with that one. And, um... I don't know. High five? Yeah, sure, high five. <laughs> favorite meme? Um, I don't have one. How do you record your streams? Now, um, there are actually multiple ways you can record your streams. A lot of people who want to do it professionally tend to use OBS, but um, I generally use just my regular capture card because it literally just gives me the option to stream it. And yeah. Now, like I said, OBS is technically more professionally lies or professional to, you know, stream things, but my computer isn't powerful enough to take something like that, so until I get a more super souped up computer, then that's when I use the OBS for recording streams. What is your favorite meme? Already answered. Any Smash Bros. character you love to play as before it's released? Genuinely, Mario or the Inkling. Just one of the two. Maybe even Wario. Can I be friends with Kale? I'm pretty sure you can. Mario or Sonic? Mmm, oof. I mean, I like Sonic, but I'm gonna have to go with Mario on that. Who are your mains for su for the Super Smash Bros. series? Genuinely, it's Mario. But I'm pretty sure there might be more that I'm not aware of, but like, it's genuinely Mario. And there's probably gonna be- there's probably more, I just can't remember them on top of my head. I'm trying to pick off the ones that I've played with since Super Smash Bros. Melee. Maybe even Link, I'm not sure, but I don't really play with him anymore, so... Oof. Congrats on 2.5k subs. Yeah, you see how long I pushed this off? We're at 3.1. What are you going to do for 3k? We're already at 3k, and I haven't done anything. <laughs> Actually, maybe this video is the answer. Your live streams get more views every time you stream. How do you feel? Generally, it does... It mostly just motivates me to keep streaming. That's that's all I can say. It just motivates me to keep streaming. I won't say any more puns. You could be lying there. Can I be in your video? That's very situational. Hey, yo, what's your favorite Sonic game? If I were to discude Sonic Mania, I think it'd be Sonic Heroes, to be honest. A question. Any pets? Um, yes, I have like four dogs. How many gaming consoles, handheld TV, etc. do you own? What are they? I already answered that. Seven, but I don't want to name them all off because, like, it's a lot to me. For me to just keep going. Favorite school subject? I generally don't have one. But at the moment right now, I think it'd be... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, maybe biology. Maybe. I don't know. 
Well, I have no Ink Sona or OC, so no hug from me, I guess. Oof. Can I hug you? Sure. Here's a hug. What inspired you to start making videos? Um, I think from the creativity from everyone. Um, <clears throat> cough. Article 13 is gonna destroy all that cough. Favorite YouTuber? Uh, genuinely, uh, Corey X Kenshin. Um, Will Ryan DA Games. And that is Serby 2, dude. And maybe even the Keith crew. Can I be in your videos? Situational. Favorite weapon? Right now, I was gonna say the Splattershot Pro, but, uh, it's the Kansas Splattershot Pro. Favorite ranked battle? Splat Zones, because that's just the one I do the most successful in. Uh, Inklings or Octolings? I like both, but genuinely I like Inklings just a little bit more. But in terms of who's prettier, maybe. Maybe it'd be the Octolings, maybe. Actually, no, Octolings are more cute. Inklings are more prettier. Favorite Splatoon song? Uh, I don't really have one, but I think there is one I do have. I just can't remember the name of it. Wumi or Vimo? Um, let's go with Vimo. Who are your best friends? Um, best friends, you say? Friends. Friends. Um, probably uh, Trey, Kelp, and Tay, and all that types of people. Maybe, it, probably even Manny as well. Can I hug you? Sure. Wanna hug the Squid Sisters? Um, that depends on them. Let me let me see. Hey, uh, what do you guys think? How come I forgot to subscribe to you? I just did XD. What? Who are your favorite Nintendo villains of all the of of all the time of all the time? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know. Probably just Bowser. Let's do the Skull Cracker Taunt. <laughs> there is a box and you hear Vemos in there. How many Vemos do you think they ca that they fit in the box? Ninety-nine. Could you please tell everyone that I'm not Derek? Sega needs to stop with that theory. Well, um, that theory's already dead, so question answered. Already. What made you join the Splatoon community? Uh, uh Rex Legend. Can I high five you, please, or pills? Pills. 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 See, this is why I say please because P L Z just means. Pills. It sounds like a bee and no one wants to be a bee, but sure, here's your hug. Or high five, actually. A question for you, homie Ails. Who's the better Dragon Ball Z fighter, Goku or Goku Black? Ooh. Game-wise, probably Goku Black. But I mean, series-wise, right now it's obviously Goku. Who's funnier, Boxy or Bruce Brush? Um, I can see why you would wonder why one of them, but Boxy in terms of content. It's just a little too hilarious. In a 1v1, who would win an epic showdown? Manny Squid or his dark side? Oof. To be continued, who knows? <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite Splatfest? I don't really have one. But if I were to pick from all of them, I think? I think it'd be the Cali vs. Marie Splatfest. Because that was the only Splatfest where I felt like it was something super duper duper important. And especially since they played the Calamari incantation at the very last hours. What's your best moment so far? 2018 wise. I think it'd be the first time I ever talked to Claude's, I think. Probably. Can I have a high five? Sure, here's your high five. When did you use Gmod for the first time? I think it was at the I think it was at the very end of 2016. Maybe no, wait. Uh maybe it was, I can't remember. It was probably at the like the very end of 2016, probably. At least that's what I believe. I know it was like some time near then. It, it had. I think it had to be 2016. It had, it had to be. What is your favorite game? Oof. Um, I don't know when I'm publishing this, but uh, let's go with uh, let's just. Okay, so the time I'm recording this, there is no Super Smash Bros. Ultimate yet. So let's go with in between Splatoon 2 and Dragon Ball Fighters. Splatoon or Splatoon 2? Genuinely Splatoon 2, because I feel like they did more things 
balanced in it. However, it does kind of suck how there are some weapons that were like really good in the first game that they kind of just killed off. But Splatoon 1 was relatively kind of unbalanced. Like there was a lot of weapons you picked and then you were able to kill anyone in sight. But uh, Splatoon 2 is genuinely more balanced. What's your favorite movie? <sighs> Again, I don't know when I am publishing this. Right now, it is Avengers Infinity War. I know that's basic of me, but I, it's just really special. What gun do you like in Splatoon 2? The Kansas Barbershop Pro. Favorite Pokemon? I genuinely do not have a favorite Pokemon. Wanna be friends in Fortnite? Um, I don't know. What interested you into Gmod? Ooh, I think it was the very creative minds out there. Ahem, Article 13 gonna destroy that. Ahem. Um, but I think it started with Super Smash Bros. And when they made Gmod videos of that. If that is what probably wanted me to at least try and get started. So, props to those. I was gonna say Rex Legend, but I think it was actually those first. Good Jared or Evil Jared? To be continued. Can I have a hug? I don't know why there's a can I and then that, that's like another person I think about can I? Um, but yeah, yeah, here's your hug, here's your hug. Gumi or Vimo? Vimo. Do you play TF2? Genuinely, I do not play TF2. I have played it. It is, I can see why it's a fun game. I just am not interested in it as much as I probably should be. What is your favorite movie? Already answered. What is your favorite game besides Splatoon? Dragon Ball Fighters. What do you do after you finish your animations? Um, play Splatoon 2 or Dragon Ball. Play on my Nintendo Switch in general for like the next three weeks. Literally. How much do you want Red Ink in Splatoon 2? Actually, that would be really cool. I think I would like Red Ink Splatoon 2. Nintendo, can you make Red Ink some exclusive DLC and not something only for Splatfest? Because Splatfest are probably going to end who knows when. And, uh, yeah. Who's better, Charizard or Venusaur? I think it's Venusaur. Um... Let's go with Charizard, because, you know, he's in Super Smash Bros. and not Venusaur. <laughs> what is your favorite video game franchise besides Splatoon? Dragon Ball Fighters, or the Dragon Ball Z franchise in general, Super Smash Bros., and, uh, Beautiful Joe, I think. Can my inkling high-five you? Sure, here's your high-five. <laughs> Wanna play some Fortnite? I don't know. What is your favorite superheroes and Marvel or DC Comics? Uh, superheroes? Probably Spider-Man, Batman, Superman maybe, and yeah. Marvel or DC Comics? Um, I generally prefer Marvel Comics because they have, even though some people like to make jokes about how Marvel could be stealing deals, can, not deal, could be stealing the, uh, the ideas that come along with the DC Comics, but I don't know. You like Bendy and the Ink Machine? Um, yes, I just don't play it. Um, I am hopefully getting it from the Nintendo Switch, so, yeah. Can I give you a hug? Sure, G give me, give me the hug. <laughs> Have you checked out my channel? I do animations like you. Um, I think I've actually checked it out. I'm not 100% sure. I I'm pretty sure I did. I just can't remember, because, you know, bad memory. <laughs> what is your favorite MMO? I don't know what an MMO is, so let's skip that one. Can I appear in your video someday? Situational. Ever played Crash Bandicoot? Um, yes I have. I just don't show it off. I have Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex, for the Wrath of Cortex, for the GameCube, and I have the Insane Trilogy for the PS4, but I don't play with the PS4 that much because, you know, little brother, Fortnite. We should play Splatoon 2 sometime this weekend and make a video about it similar to the Jared and Brad Sega video months ago. Maybe. The, maybe. Do you have a crush on anyone or someone? Do you have a crush on someone? Well, real life wise, uh, no. Gmod wise, maybe. What headset is that? It looks a lot like mine. It's called a 800LX. What's yours? Potion? Each G2 G2000. Koshin each. It's right here. Koshin each G2000. Is there any chance you will add fan characters in your story? What do you mean by fan characters? Like in terms of you guys or in terms of like other people's OCs? Because that could probably be a no. Who knows? If you and all other Splatoon channels got captured, you think. Wait. 
Oh, I think I know what you're trying to say. You think I could save you on my own? I don't know. Depends who captured us. Callie or Marie? Lel. Space, 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 space. Callie is better. Or Callie is better. Cool for you, but I genuinely prefer Marie. Because, you know, opinions. Who is Darid? Da well, um, just watch Darid's Origins. Darid is a... Al Jar Darid is more than just a alternative version of me from another dimension. He is a supernatural demon. What's your favorite Splatfest? Callie and Marie. Do you have a crush? Already answered. Can I hug you? Here's your hug. Huggies. Or, actually, technically, you are. Do you know the Muffin Man? No. Hug? Hug. Callie and Marie. Already answered. How did your Inkling OC get that hat? It's very nice. Splatoon 1, I kind of just found it, and it looked, and I thought, it's like, oh, wow, I think this is the closest thing I do to Mario hat. Huh, huh, yeah, I should wear it. <laughs> Darren, how do I become evil as you? Can I be in your video? Situational. Um, Wumi or Vimo? Vimo. Uh, do you animate with screenshots? No, actually. I animate by recording certain motions. Um, I was trying to get into the thing where I could animate with screenshots, but the certain softwares that I have to edit doesn't allow me to do that for some strange reason. Question, how can you do live streams or videos with subscribers through voice chat and Discord? You go to Discord and, you know, chat with, or just, you know, I, I chat with people on Discord. Actually, no, I think I know what you're trying to ask. How do I do it with you guys? You got it, you guys just gotta be trusted. And maybe I'll get to a point where I can do live streams with only a limited amount of people. Maybe even, maybe if I even start a Patreon, then, you know, that, that could happen, who knows. What is your first video game you've ever played? It was... A sports game on a game kill. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll probably go put up an image of it right next to me if I find it through my uh, editing and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. Is my am I too blurry? I just realized that. Am I am I too blurry? Is it because uh is it because of the uh sh the blinds being too uh bright? I think it is. I think we're going to have to, uh, it's going to be really awkward, but I think we're going to transition to the, um, Splatoon gameplay. So, uh, awkward transition, I know, but let's do it. There we go. What got you into Splatoon? Um, check the video. Can I give you a high five? Um, sure. Here's your high five. I don't know why I hesitated right there. That was kind of weird. Can I give Darren a high five? How did you get so good at Splatoon 2? Actually, I don't know. I really don't. I guess through a lot of motivation to play ranked, I guess. Generally, ranked battles do really help you out a lot, so I think it's ranked battles that, you know, got me better, I guess, I don't know. What if Jared was mini? Meow. Well, why would I be mini? That's just a silly question of you. If I were mini, then, you know, it would, it would be rather, uh, scary. Oh, wait. When will you stream again? Um, question already answered, like, millions of times, probably. Will you do more animations? Yes. Just very later. Will you play more Fortnite? Probably not. Can I get a high five? Sure. Here's your high five. Even though high is just H-I. If you could have any weapon stage from Splatoon 1 return to Splatoon 2, what would they be? I actually don't know. In terms of weapons, I'm not really for sure because Splatoon 1 didn't really have any weapons that isn't in Splatoon 2 already. Um... Shell, there's probably a lot of you guys are gonna probably say something on lines of Sheldon's pick, but I don't think Sheldon's pick even matters because here's the thing: Sheldon's pick was just to get a new, was just to give a new perspective to some weapons, even though some of them were already good, like the Splatter Shot Pro being able to have nothing but suction bombs, or the Splatter Shot having the Splatter Shot Pro's kit, or the Cherry H or the H3 having Splash Wall and the Bubbler, but they were nothing super special. They were nothing super new. So, I don't think so. Stages, however, oh, I can think of many. Actually, scratch that. How about all of them? <laughs> Most importantly, uh, Flounder Heights. That's my favorite one. What's your favorite FNAF game? Character and Jump Scare. FNAF game? 
ultimate custom knight, I guess. Even though I'm not really good at that. Character, um, I guess Springtrap, because he looks like a really cool one. I know that the Nightmare characters have been, like, designed, like, really, uh, slowly over Springtrap. But Springtrap is my favorite, because he just looks cool. Jump scare, however. Uh, I don't really have one, so I'm just gonna snap my fingers and let's see which one plays. High five? Sure, here's your high five. <laughs> Wumi or Vimo? Vimo. Any future ideas in mind? I already got them saved on my computer. So there's already plenty. Ping plus ping minus ping equals... Okay, actually that's a lot more easier than I thought. Because here's the thing. You're taking two pings, but you're also taking one of the pings away. So it's just ping. So... It's basically ping plus ping minus ping equals ping. That should be a musical, actually. <laughs> Which characters from my channel that you like the most and why? Boxy does not count. I don't know why you had to destroy your grammar at the very end, but okay. I honestly think Elder. I'm not sure why, but she just looks pretty to me. And she... I don't know why. I, I like her, and I'm not even sure why. She just looks... Maybe... Maybe she's one of those tough girls I like, I'm not really for sure. Who do you think is better, Sonic or Shadow? I prefer Shadow, but I see why they pick Sonic a lot. Are you ready for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? I want to say yes, but I'm not actually for sure. Because of the whole dodging mechanic is much more sluggish now, so, oof. What's your videos hold up? What do you mean by that? You mean like, why do I stop with the videos? Or, I don't know. What are you planning in the future? Um, already answered. I got Gears Mod animations already planned in my head. I already know what my gear is, my animation is going to look like from start to finish, so. What happened to the magical cookie? Did you eat it? Get some that. No, I, I threw it in the trash can, actually, because it was oatmeal. Can I be in your vid? Situational. How long did it, how long did it take you to get this good at Gary's mod? Uh, let's go, I think it was like a year, actually, because I remember starting in 2016, I think. I'm very positive I started in 2016. Then, in the mid-2017, I actually did something. When is part 3? Already answered. Ever heard of Chaos L Legion? Or Legion? No, I have not. Can I beat the crud out of your dark your dark side, for goodness sake? No, Chaos Legion has been everywhere since the first time I've ever said blah 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 blah. Um, it doesn't work like that. Uh, Darid can't be taken down by anyone else. I'll give you that. Not even gods. Seriously, I'm, I'm being for real. Darid isn't just someone who could get taken down. Right now, there's no one. Not even your Chaos League. High five. Here's your high five. Vayan. I'm pretty sure I said your name wrong. Pearl or Marina? I like both. I, I like both, but I go for Marina. Because she's just genuinely a lot more different. Not because of, you know, certain distinctive features. But she's an Octoling. An African-American Octoling. While the other pop stars... Or white squids. <laughs> Dang. Okay, that sounds really racist. Um, Jared versus Darid. You spelled my name wrong. Who would win? Again, already answered. And is asking a little short video of it too much? It's not going to be a short video. It's probably going to be a very long one. Just in the very early 2020, maybe. Who knows? Either way, keep up the good... Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for... <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> What's your favorite Splatfest theme? Already answered. Congrats, you've earned it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You interested in any games? Um, what do you mean by that? Can I do a jump scare like Dara did in Q&A 3? I don't know. Meet you? Slash Dara versus me in a private match. I don't know. That's very later. Pearl or Marina? Already answered. Callie or Marie? Already answered. Octoling or Inkling? Already answered. Okay, so all your questions are already answered. The Octo Crew. I'm sorry. Hug or high five? Um, either one. Oh, but I personally would like to give a high five. <coughs> Off the hook or the Squid Sisters? After the Octo expansion, I think it would actually be off the hook because we've never went super in depth with Callie or Marie all we know about them is that they're secret agents and with um off the hook we actually get to learn about them like what was what did they do in the past Callie and Marie we actually had to figure it out through the sunken scrolls we didn't get anything else other than they won some musical contest when they were little and they're cousins that's about it actually not even think about it we learned when they were cousins because of their concert not from the actual game itself i think squid sisters or your fans generally i think my fans because i don't think the squid sisters will ever notice me 
Disco and Callie and Marie Squid Sisters because I'm pretty sure they they already know me, especially since supposedly Marie has been stalking me. Do you like chargers? Um, I don't play with chargers. They are unique, but let's just go with no. I don't genuinely play with chargers because you know. Any thoughts on Darid? Can I have a hug? No. Is Darren Sonic.exe? No. Can you also LP Sonic Mania? I think that means let's play. But, um, I really want to. But I'm not sure when. I just know that there will be a time where I will. I don't have an Ink Sona, but. Uh, oh, wait, actually, never mind. You already, uh, get yourself an Ink Sona, so, uh, there you go. I also have a thought of the. Okay, the. the what would you do if it was raining? Trains? Favorite Switch game? It's Splatoon 2, I'm pretty sure. Because, like I said, I'm recording this at the time Super Smash Bros. Ultimate isn't out. So, Splatoon 2 right now. Mario or Sonic? Already answered. Are you going? Are you getting Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Yes, I am. I'm actually getting it day one. Very positive. And who are your main fighters? Already answered. How does my Ink Sona look in the Gmod format? You, I actually already looked at it, and your answer has your question has already been answered. So, there you go. How did you really first meet Claude's Splatoon 2? Christmas 2017. Thank you, Andrea Chan and Manny Squid. A high five from Jared and a hug from Kale. Sounds awesome since I'm honored to take part in this. Okay, well, here you go. Can I give you a high five? Sure, here's your high five. Favorite fruit? Watermelon. What makes you angry? Oof, that's a that's a that's a toughie because uh I generally don't get really angry a lot. It's more of a, I get frustrated. But if something were to make me angry, if it's someone is actively trying to do something that's purposely trying to hurt me, that's the only time I would ever get angry. Have you ever been to, I'm pretty sure you meant anywhere, anywhere in Europe? Uh, no, I have, actually as a matter of fact, I haven't been anywhere outside the US. I haven't even explored half of the states in the US actually. What will happen if Wadu meets Splatoon community? I don't know who that is, so let's just go with a, uh, He's funny. I don't know. Wait, Darid is here? I don't know. I don't think he's here right now. Wario or Waluigi? Let's go with Wario, because he's a little bit more original. Favorite mean? Uh, don't have one. Can I hug you? Here's your hug. Wanna hug the Squid Sisters? Wait a second. Is this the same question? I think it is. <laughs> How would Jared look with the Poltergeist 5000? Also, there's a ghost behind you. I think someone's bloody lying to me. Do you like to Splatoon 2 a lot? To Splatoon 2 a lot? But, uh, yeah. What will you do if you and Jared are a couple? Wow, that, that took, that took a lot longer than I did, or that I expected. Um, I think, uh. I really like how my camera is all blurry and all that stuff. I blame I blame the lights in the background because the lights in the background is making this really poor to actually like see what's going on and all that stuff. So yeah. But um there's um your answers. Everyone. So, um hope you enjoyed this Q&A. This might actually be my very very last Q&A because um you know, this is a unusually long one. So let's just let's just go with that. This is a very long Q&A, so I just want to be final and like, yeah, this is my last. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this Q&A and me answering you guys' questions. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, share the video, even though I won't be doing another Q&A. Subscribe to the channel if you would like some more of whatever I do. So, yeah, I'll, in the meantime, I'll see you guys then. Take care and God bless you all. Because, like, the lights are really annoying. It's way too bright out. It's your fault. It's your fault.
Too bright, I say. Too bright. Hi. Hello, people. I didn't mean to clap that loud. Um, how you all been? It's been great. I'm pretty sure your winter break has been relatively amazing. So, um... Let me talk about what I'm about to talk to you guys right now. So you guys are probably wondering what actually is this. So when I said at the very end that, you know, I was like kind of brushing it off like, oh, um, you know, this actually might be my last Q&A because of how long it is. That is very close to the truth. Um, the fourth Q&A is probably going to be my last for a lot of reasons actually well not really too many reasons but for one main primary reason that I want to go over with you guys be it, this did turn out to be long and the real reasoning why I want to shut down the constant doing the Q&A's and all that stuff is it's gone a lot more stressful so, over the course of 2018, I think it was like sometime after the summer of 2018, making YouTube videos actually started to become more stressful as it went through on the year and it became so much troublesome. And the most definitely of the troublesome was the Q&As. Um, now, like you guys know, this is actually my fourth Q&A. If you're wondering where are the other three, the first one was back in 2017, I think like at the very middle of it, and then the other three, including this one, were all in this one year. So I basically did three Q&As in one year, and to me that's not healthy, especially the way we're doing these Q&As. They're not, to be honest, these things kind of in some level aren't really Q&As, it's kind of like a just animate a picture or put a picture of something related to Gary's mod and just slap it on and call it quality. I mean, that's not really what it is, but that's what it's starting to feel like. There have been multiple times where I felt like I wanted to cancel this fourth Q&A. As a matter of fact, I was really close to doing it until I actually motivated myself to actually finish it. And if I had the feeling where I wanted to close this fourth Q&A, cancel it, I know that is more than just a problem. I think, because like, think about it. Even though there are probably more people who have done or dealt with so many more questions, still, the fact that I've tried to do multiple Q and A's in this one single year, the way that I'm doing these as well, and the fact that I had to do 64 questions in this one Q and A, try to squeeze it all in. Just didn't I just didn't appreciate it. I just couldn't manage it. I just couldn't handle it. I started breaking down a little bit. I started getting a lot more stressed and I started thinking about just canceling the Q and A. And here I am. Um We're finished with it. And I'm never doing I don't guarantee I'm gonna do another one. <clears throat> I mean maybe it might be a live stream Q&A just to make it a little bit ease but still as an official you know long running Q&A this is the last and even though I've been doing the Q&A series for not too long for technically a year and a half which to many people is long but when you run a channel that's already three and a half years old it some level it isn't This is my last Q&A, so I hope you all, the ones who did ask questions in this uh, Q&A, thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is my last. So, without further ado, hope you enjoy watching this Q&A, and I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care and God bless you all, and I hope your 2018 was so fantastic. I'm not okay.